<laughs> so uh, Tony Khan says that he made the decision to allow William Regal to return to WWE so that Regal could help train his son, NXT wrestler Charlie Dempsey. He said in a pre-Ring of Honor Final Battle media call that he first learned Regal was hoping to return to WWE during what was a difficult time for the Khan family. Tony Khan's mother suffered two strokes, required an operation to remove a spot on her heart in the months following All Out. Khan was at home with his parents for his 40th birthday on October 10 when he received a call about Regal. He said he was watching Monday Night Football at my parents' house with my parents. My mom was hooked up to a lot of machines. I was just praying my mom's surgery would go okay. That same night I got a phone call, and it was saying that William Regal had approached Mega, who was the uh, head of legal, and it was all very legitimate, valid stuff. Basically, he's got a son who works at another wrestling promotion, and he really wanted us at the end of the year when we had the option to renew the contract. He was asking that we would not. Nothing bad. We were having a great time working together, and this was an opportunity for him to go back and work in his golden years of his career with his son. It's a very complex situation for AEW because he's a huge part of what we are doing on screen. We really value him. There's multiple storylines that he's involved in at this point. If we were going to Toronto that week, obviously, I had a lot of things on my mind. And so he said he got a message from Regal. He was asking if we could talk. I made time to talk to him, and I went outside the hospital. Sitting on a park bench in front of the Mayo Clinic on Sunday night, we had a really long, good talk. It was very positive. He really had good intentions. I'd like to say for why he wanted to go back, it made a lot of sense to me that he would want to work with his son and be with his son. So anyway, uh, I can say there was no clause that allowed him to get out of his deal. But the situation, as it was explained to me, is he signed a essentially one-year deal with a two-year option. And the thing that was weird about it is uh, I believe that you're not going to see him on – I mean, he's done. That that stretcher job was uh, was it, I believe, for William Regal, and he's going to be going back to, to WWE. Now, there's a lot of questions about William Regal, John Moxley, MJF, the whole storyline – and I don't know what they're going to do, but I've been given the impression that tonight on the show, there is going to be an explanation. Now, how they do that, I don't know. But they're going to try to explain this situation on the show tonight. And I think that's going to be it for uh, the William Regal aspect of the storyline. But what, what had confused me... so. You know, the, the WWE side was that he had an out. And the AEW side essentially was saying nothing, except he was probably going back to WWE very, very soon. So, you know, the thing that confused me for a long time, and it still kind of confuses me, is he signed... I mean, I, I don't know when he actually signed, but it was announced that he signed and he debuted in... It was like March or April. And so that's where a lot of this confusion came from, where it was like, well, did he have an out or did he sign a short-term deal? And if he signed a short-term deal, like, how did he know to sign a nine-month deal? And I still don't have the answers to, to these questions. What I, what I think has happened is, in March, he signed a one-year deal with a two-year option, and he, uh, like, Tony could have picked up the two-year option in March, but Regal wanted to go. And because of everything Tony said, not only did Tony agree to let him go, but it appears that Tony, for all of these reasons, decided, hey, if you want to go now, let's do it. And he's letting him go now, which I think would be prior to even the one-year contract expiring. So I think that's what's going on. And, uh, and certainly... You know, the other day on the show, I was talking about how, you know, he wants to be close to his son and he wants to be close to his friends and everything like that and uh, live in. He doesn't actually live in Florida. He lives in Atlanta. OK, but Atlanta, it's an eight hour drive. If he wants to drive, it's like an hour on a plane. Airport goes everywhere. I mean, it's 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 so much easier for him to live in Atlanta and uh, fly down or drive down to Orlando and like I said, 
I don't think he's going back to do like main roster SmackDown GM. I think he's going back, as I said the other day, to work for NXT. He's Hunter's his best friend. His son is there. I, I think he's even got family in the area. So, you know, Tony explained here that, you know, he realized the value of family with what happened to his mom, and he let him go. So that's the situation with William Regal. He's on his way back to WWE, and uh, that's the contract situation, and that's why. So, Are all the conspiracy theories gone now? Actually, before well, you know what? Before you answer that, all the best to Tony and to Shad Khan and to the entire family for everything that was taking place, especially at a very stressful professional time for Tony to have that personal strife, possibly losing a parent. You know, that really needs to be stated, you know, that, hey, all the best to them, but go ahead. Well, all I want to say is that, you know, one of the issues of late with AEW is nobody saying anything about anything, okay? Now, you're, let me repeat this for the 80th time. He's never going to talk about the fight. He's never going to talk about CM Punk. Like, these things are, I'm, I mean, the impression I've gotten from a number of sources is these are legal issues. He can't talk about it, okay? But he could talk about when people are hurt. He could talk about when people are off TV for, for this or that reason. He can talk. I mean, WWE doesn't tell anybody anything about anything. But, like, we know Drew McIntyre is hurt. They've told us that he is out with a, a, a medical issue. And, you know, there have been a lot of people that have vanished off AEW television. And nobody says anything about anything. But there's really nothing, there's no, it's just like they're injured right now. And when they're better, they'll be back. But the, the, the reason there were so many conspiracy theories about William Regal is because nobody said anything about anything. And, and really all that needed to be done was this press conference Tony did, and he explained it, and now it's fine. So I think that this needs to be done more often. If there's something that everybody's got these conspiracy theories about, if there's a simple explanation for it, I think he just needs to tell us what's going on. Well, you know, if it was a true sport, you probably would need more transparency. You would absolutely need more transparency to do that. But, you know, I, I, I think there should be, too. And the fact that it just makes sense all the way around, you know, and it doesn't mean that anything that has been rumored about maybe Regal doesn't like this or that. That may be all true, but the bottom line is he wants to be near his son. He was in the best possible working conditions he could have possibly been in before Vince dumped him, and he gets to go back and do everything that Brian said, and I don't think you're going to see him on TV. And I also don't believe that Tony Khan is a dense person, and I don't think he is a... Maybe he is. I don't, I don't think he's an outright liar, but there was the... I was uh, a little surprised to see the video go up of William Regal. Come on, Tony. I don't believe that for a second. If you've been watching WWE for this long, if you have dealt with them in the way that you have, if you have gone through tampering that has been accused, you've talked about bots invading you during these press conferences, and maybe, I mean, maybe he absolutely believed this, but, like, it is then I am just baffled at his density over, I'm really surprised that they would run a William Regal video. Why? Why would you be surprised, Tony? Come on, man. Stop. All right. Um, so the future of Ring of Honor will be addressed Saturday. Alluded to something being revealed about a weekly TV product after Final Battle. Said he would be having less Ring of Honor TV on AEW TV following this week. Regarding Rampage, he said expect a big card for Friday. It's all hands on deck. He hinted AW New Japan Ring of Honor relationship, something to ask about on Saturday. And uh, he said tonight's a big night for the AW Tag Team titles when asked about FTR and Final Battle. The hey. WWE legendary hey, joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. 
Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> what? You said Gramazon. No, I oh. said Glamazon. Oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, puppy you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.